How do I reset my Bluetooth keyboard? Hello and welcome. Today, we're going to walk you through how to reset your Bluetooth keyboard. This is a handy skill if your keyboard is not responding or you're having connection issues. Why would you need to reset your Bluetooth keyboard? Resetting your Bluetooth keyboard can solve a variety of issues. If your keyboard isn't connecting properly, it's acting erratically, or if it's not working at all, a reset might just be the solution you need. Remember, a reset will wipe all the paired devices, so you'll need to reconnect them afterward. How to turn off your Bluetooth keyboard Before resetting your keyboard, it's important to turn it off first. This is typically done by finding the power button on the keyboard and switching it to the off position. However, this might vary depending on the specific model and manufacturer of your keyboard. Check your keyboard's user manual if you're unsure. What is the reset procedure? Now, we move on to the actual reset process. 1. Hold down the power button for about 5 to 10 seconds. The keyboard should power on, but continue holding the button. 2. Keep the power button pressed until you see the LED light start flashing. This usually indicates the keyboard is in pairing mode and effectively resets the Bluetooth connection. 3. Release the power button. Again, these steps can slightly differ depending on your keyboard. Always refer to your keyboard's manual for precise instructions. How to reconnect your keyboard. After resetting, you'll need to repair your keyboard with your device. 1. On your device, go to the Bluetooth settings. 2. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on, then select Add New Device or Pair New Device. 3. Your device should find and display your keyboard. Select your keyboard to pair it. If you're asked for a PIN and you don't know it, try 0000 or 1234, as those are common default PINs. That's all there is to it. You've successfully reset and reconnected your Bluetooth keyboard. Remember, when facing connection problems with your devices, sometimes a simple reset can do the trick. As always, refer to your device's manual for specific instructions. Hope this guide was helpful and see you in the next one.